Hi folks, Glyn Dewis here, and what I want to do in this Photoshop tutorial, very quickly show you how we can add muscle definition into uh, your physique photos. Now, the one we're going to use for this particular technique is this picture here. This is a guy called Sam, and he's a rugby player, funnily enough. Um, and it was from a photo shoot that I did for a company, a new sports therapy company, um, where it's going to basically be a composite where Sam was photographed in a makeshift studio with three lights and he's going to be put into a, a scene with a rugby field and all this kind of stuff. And those pictures will be used as website backgrounds. Now, the only problem, when we actually did the photo shoot with Sam, because of the lighting and the thickness of the clothing he was wearing, the original out-of-camera shots didn't really show up the muscles that he's got in his back. And, you know, Sam's a powerful guy. This guy is a, virtually a professional rugby player. He can run 100 metres carrying a ball at a in, in 11 seconds dead. So the guy's quite powerful. Um, and the picture didn't really do him justice when it came to his muscles. So what I did was add the muscles definition in later on in Photoshop. And that's what we'll quickly do now. So how can we do this in Photoshop? Well, as Photoshop being Photoshop, there's loads of ways that we can do the same kind of thing. One way that we could do this would be maybe to do a bit of dodging and burning and burning some shadows and dodging some highlights to actually shape the back. But the only problem with that is unless you're a doctor or some kind of bodybuilder who knows exactly where the muscles can be, you're not going to know really where to be putting all the shadows and highlights. So you could do that and end up giving the guy a bit of a weird looking back. So the solution that I came up with was this. All I did was look on the internet and found a picture of a back in a similar kind of pose. So this guy here, he's got his back almost, well, virtually square onto the camera, not too dissimilar to how Sam is standing here. So here's how we can add the muscles from this back here into Sam. Well, the first thing we need to do is just cut it off the background. And that was really easy with this one because it was photographed on a white background. So here we can see it's been very, very quickly cut out. And I think I used the magic wand tool for that, very, very easy. So all we're going to do now then is use the move tool, drag it over and place it into the image of Sam just here. Now what I will do is just remove this one here that contained the muscles that was like the final picture. Let's just delete that there. So all we're left with is the original out of camera photo of Sam and this new muscle back layer here. Oh, let's just put that back where it was. So what we need to do then is align this muscular back with Sam. So what we can do is go to edit and transform and use the warp in Photoshop. And obviously we get build up this little grid of squares here and these handles. And I can just click inside these squares and use these handles to manipulate this layer of the, uh, the muscular back and position it over Sam. Now to make things easy for myself, I can just lower the opacity of that layer so we can see Sam coming through just a little bit more like so. And all I need to do now is just click and drag around a little bit, just manipulate it so that it's, it kind of lines up with Sam, Sam's own back and his pose. It doesn't have to be perfect because we only want to be using really the sort of the top part of the muscular back here and this bit down the middle. So let's just maneuver it around a little bit using these handles. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's just line the waist up like so. And let's get these shoulders lined up as well. This shoulder on the left slightly higher than the one on the right. Something like something like that will be fine. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll just click the little tick at the top there or just press return or enter on your keyboard and Photoshop puts it into place. So now when we bring up the opacity, this is the kind of thing we're ended up here. Now all we want really is the shadows and highlights within the, uh, the back layer here. Now we can load in something called a luminosity mask and that's really, really simple to do. All, to, all we're gonna do is just turn off the bottom layer containing Sam so that all we can see is this muscular back. So now when we go over to the channels here, and these aren't scary, okay? Channels are not scary. They're really, really easy to work with. We've got the RGB, which is a combination of the three channels below, the red, green, and the blue. And all we're going to do is hold down your command or your control key, hold it over the thumbnail of the RGB, and just click once. And when we do that, what happens is we actually make a selection. We tell Photoshop to select the luminosity, the bright parts, the bright tones within this actual picture. So once we've got that, we're going to go back to our Layers panel. And we're just going to put this selection onto its own layer. And we can do that by going Command or Control J. Or at the top here, go to Layer, New, and Layer via Copy, or Layer via Copy. So what we're left with now then is this. Looks a bit strange, but that's 
basically the selection that we had. So if we just put that over Sam now by turning on the bottom original layer of Sam, the, the picture of the out-of-camera shot, this is what we have. So now we've got that, there's a couple of things we need to do, and this is so easy. First things first, we're going to invert it, okay? So we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. And straight away when we do that, we can start to see the shadow and highlights much, much more clearer showing up on Sam's back. But the only problem is it's got this kind of bluish tone to it because we've inverted it. So let's get rid of that bluish tone. Really simple. We'll do that by going Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. So straight away, you know, it's not finished yet, but we can start to see the kind of process that we're doing here. We're just selecting the shadows and highlight areas of that original muscular back and overlaying them on the top of Sam. Now all these little bits here we can get, off, get rid of very, very easily. I'm just gonna add a layer mask to there. I'm gonna get a black brush, and nice and soft, quite a big brush. And all I'm going to do now is just paint at 100% opacity just to remove the parts that I don't want. Now like I said, I'm only interested really in the muscles at the very, very top of the back here between the shoulder blades and the bit going right down the middle of his back as well, just so it shows a little bit of definition through his clothing. Something like that is fine. Now, the bit coming down the middle here may be just a little bit too dark for this picture, so rather than painting in black at 100%, I'm just gonna change the opacity at the top here of this brush to something around about maybe 40%, and then just put a click and a drag right down the middle so it takes out the harshness. It wasn't too dark down there. And, and that is basically it. You know, there's a lot more maybe finessing we could do, but that kind of gives you the idea of what we can do here. Because this is on its own layer as well, we can lower the opacity so you can have it as strong or as weak as you want it to be. But Sam's a, you know, he's a muscular guy, he's a powerful lad, so we'll just give him a little bit more definition just there like so. And that's it. That is basically it. Now, you could really finish this off by, you know, we've added in some definition. Let's... Let's give him a little bit more muscle. So how will we do that? This is a little bit of a bonus thing here. Let's just click on the bottom layer here, the actual out of camera shot of Sam, and let's just duplicate it. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and get my uh, elliptical marquee tool, and I'm gonna drag out a selection over one of his shoulders just here. And I wanna put the center of this circle over the kind of like cap area of his shoulder, put it over the middle of his shoulder like so. And I'm gonna go to filter, distort and pinch. And that brings up this dialog box here. And let's just click on these little minus signs to zoom out just a little bit. Now here, using this slider, we can make him smaller or make him bigger. So he's like in the gym going, hua, hua, or really small or really big. Depends how friendly he is or how tough this guy is, how much you want to give him some muscle. So I'm going to give this maybe minus 20. He's been really working out some. Okay, and we'll click OK. And when we do that, do you see how his shoulder got bigger? So that's before, that's after, before, after. And then we can do then just click this ellipse here, this circle, put it over his other shoulder, press Command and Control F to give the same amount of warping to that shoulder. And uh, let's make his waist just a little bit smaller so he's got a little bit more taper from the shoulders down to his waist. So I'm gonna drag out a bigger ellipse like so and put the middle over the middle of his back, something like that. Again, go to Filter, Distort and pinch. And we'll zoom out so we can see what we're doing. And then rather than going this way, like he's had a few too many pies, we can go this way just to bring it in so his waist comes in just a little bit. Obviously, if we go too far, then we're stretching the ball. We don't want to do that. But just something subtle like, my, oh, I don't know, maybe let's go for eight. No, let's go, no, let's go for 10 and click OK. So let's deselect that. So just by doing a few little tweaks there with a the pinch filter, we can do that. But what have we done overall? We've basically added in this definition of his back, we've given him some muscle, and very quickly, we've changed him. Let's just zoom in just a little bit. We've gone from this out of camera to this, this to this. And again, like I said, you can do a little bit of tweaking on this definition area here at the top by just lowering the opacity just a bit so that you can have it just exactly how you want it. So I'll probably end up with something like 70%. So on, off, there we go, before, after, before, after, before, after. And there you go. How to quickly add definition and just a little bit extra showing how you can actually make some of these muscles just a little bit bigger in Photoshop. I'm Glyn Jewis, and I'll see you next time.